Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our... I was about to say the Old Alliance Reverse. That's obviously not what it's called. Uh, we do have temporarily uh, cheaper ideas right now due to a random event. It expires in 95. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I don't want to take this land. But then again, I want this land. And it's only 200 points. So, yeah, we're going to take this land. Wow, this, this siege is really holding out. They've actually done pretty well on that siege in Lubick. We'll engage that one first since it's in the plains. Alright, let's go clear out Lundberg. Unfortunately, he's moving through the woods. Where are you going? Why would you do this? Fine. Fine, we'll fight you. Nice rolls, Clemens. Squished it. Nice amount of cannons here. It's one of the things I like about trade ideas. Is the amount of extra extra money that you have just allows you to go really cannon heavy. And obviously cannons are really good. Alright. Yeah, these are both going to be very easy to siege down. So we're going to just go um, drop off the infantry, drop off the cav. Take the five. Five cannons. Remaining troops will put you in charge. And we're going to take the um, same thing, actually. We're just going to take the cannons. And two Merc Infantry to give you enough weight that you can actually do the siege. Nothing to blockade, so these sieges should both go very quickly. Easy, easy little tiny war. So piece these guys out first so that we gain a bunch of prestige. And that will offset some of the aggressive expansion impact that we get from taking land that's inside the Empire. And it's a very minimalistic little cost here. Considering most of our infantry are mercs. We still pay more for mercs than we do for our army. And our army is almost all artillery. Merc front line, artillery back row. I like it. I like it a lot. How's the Reformation looking? It's going to be a little while, only 58%. 85 day siege is pretty good. Uh, we'll just take three and send them over there. Grab our infantry, bring them... Ah, eh, they can they can just stay there. They're mercs. Alright, let's separate piece you. I don't want your land, I don't want anything really, except for uh, things that give me prestige. Should have waited for you to get there in time, huh? Instead of letting them get black flagged, that's kind of silly. I do think that the Papal Blessing was still not a, a bad pickup. It's worked out well, keeping prestige high. Reducing the decay rate. And Rebellion looks fine right now. We have five more light ships. Excited about that. We're spending some diplo points right now to be in this war. 
This is also going to do a good job at uh, bringing us closer to connecting to Lubick. We're not going to take that idea. And yet again, another siege that's just really holding out. A lot longer than I would have expected for a level 1 fort. 200 days so far. It's remarkable. Okay, same thing. We want war reps. We want you to annul all of your alliances. And that's it, really. Give me your money. So we gained 5 prestige. It's minor, but we also like the 180 ducats. Supply limit is 24. We're fine. No real issue with aggressive expansion. Excellent. Take your money. Um, and since you're going to cease to exist, we might as well milk the prestige. I could have actually rivaled him, if I remember correctly. And we're just going to immediately lower autonomy. I feel like this is, um, with our income as high as it is, I feel like this is a, a lower autonomy in every province type campaign. Fight the rebels. Use mercs. Mercs haven't cost us that much. It's worked out just fine. Uh, national tax modifier. Generally speaking, this one's better this way. We'll do that. Make on halt like us. That can be done. Aggressive expansion is quite manageable. Truce with Riga is up in 92. Our truce with uh, Denmark, I think, is already up or very close to it. October of 90. I do remember we needed to change our focus to admin. Need to drop the military access here. Manpower. What's that? Would be nice. Banner. It just says Banner. You want me to help out against Bavaria, Lorraine, Wurzburg, Ravensburg. I accept. You're also fairly sure I'll join. Otherwise you wouldn't have called me. I mean, you're 100% sure I would join. I mean, you don't really need me. I'm just... I'm providing relative strength of the Alliance. That's nice. Spy offense is actually perfectly fine. With our income as it is, I'm wondering if maybe we should start considering level 2 diplomat. Sorry, level 2 advisors. Lose the prestige, which we do want right now. Or lose devotion. Now, each point of devotion here is worth a lot. Considering that Devotion provides prestige... No, we have positive stability. I'm going to lose the Devotion. Let our positive stability actually bring our Devotion up a little bit. Otherwise, it's wasted. Besides, we're making a killing right now on trade. It's nice. It's nice having good trade income. Alright. Once again, our rivals are Poland, Brandenburg, Livonians. We have not gone to war with Brandenburg in a while. They are allied to Poland. So, we're waiting on our truce with the Livonians. We'll probably attack Denmark and take over their last two provinces before Sweden can do it. So we should get a claim on Schles Schleswig. And we're working on Anhalt for our mission. We can do Diplotech. By all means. Especially while we have the Byzantine influx.
The Livonian Separatists are getting rather upset. It is uh, farmlands, so we won't park the army there. We'll just let them have the extra unrest and hope that they rebel sooner so that we can go kill them. Now, I don't really want to do too much more expansion right now. So we can do our admin idea group, but at the same time, if I don't attack, then Sweden will. Yep, our truces are time are timed together, so if I don't attack, you better believe that he's gonna take Bornholm and Slesvig. So I need to be the first to declare. And I need to just get in there and Occupy him. Unfortunately, he's going to have troops in that province. So we'll have to do a naval landing, which stinks. We also have war exhaustion that we're not able to tick down right now. We do have more papal influence. Um, stability's nice. Money is also very nice. Let's see. 12.93 divided by 1.771. And it would offer us a 15% bonus of that. So that's 1.095 ducats per month. So that's that times 12 months in a year times 20 years. It's 262 ducats if our tax income stays the exact same as it is right now. It's not bad. It's not great though. I bet we actually do save more by using real bodies instead of mercs. I bet Holy War would be better. It certainly does. I mean, like, mercs are great. Especially if you have high income, but you're still better off not using them if you can afford to. On the other hand, uh, stability. Could be good. I'm going to do Holy War. End of the War of the Roses. That was pretty quick. More cannons. And look at us. We are really getting through this military tech quick. We got a lot of money again. Um, the workshops don't feel worthwhile. Um, maybe in Sealand. Sure. Barracks. Yes, please. My goodness. A lot of extra manpower there. I think other than that, I'm not going to do anything else. I mean, good lord, this one's got a lot of, uh, a lot of military manpower in development. Serbia has just rivaled Hungary. That's impressive. If I'm being honest, I am just impressed. Nothing else to say about it. Job well done. Obviously Austria is winning their war, they don't need our help. Still no Iberian wedding. About 40 years left for that to happen. No uh, Burgundian inheritance. England's, you know, Doing what they can. Munsters occupied by Aragon. Okay.
Hey, cool. We accept Pomeranian. Well, if we get enough humanists, we might be able to keep that as an accepted culture instead of a cultural union. It shows it here as it's a cultural union, but it's also accepted, which is better. Better than just being cultural union. Okay, so we've got the claims that we need on, on uh, Denmark. And when this truce comes up in October of next year, I think we got to declare. At the same time, I do want to get the claim on Riga, because I really want Riga. That one province is worth so much. It doesn't benefit us at all right now. Hmm. 12 development in Slesvig. So we're looking at uh, 112. 150 admin. Yeah, I think it's, again, I think it's worth slowing down the idea group in favor of preventing uh, Sweden from getting too much land. That's always a good sign when your army's large enough to cause... Uh, Attrition on its own. Let's see. Mecklenburg would accept vassalization a while ago. Now they won't. Interesting. Wonder why it changed. No missions available, not even one. I'm trying to save at least one building slot on the entire coast so that we can build, uh, Docks. I do want to get more force limit. What are we doing on autonomy? Quite a bit of unrest, but nothing we can't handle. Um, after... So we're going to want to take this as well, so that we have our adjacency. We did just finish our mission. There's our truce. Bavaria will cede all kinds of land to Austria. We still have our aggressive expansion. Or sorry, our, our uh, what do you call it? That thing, that one thing. Uh, war exhaustion. So, you know what I want to do? I'm going to do this. Give me the transports. I want to take down, like, um... Three infantry, one cav, two cannons, nice little tiny army. I'm going to bring that over here. If Sweden declares, we immediately declare, and we move on Slesvig. If Sweden doesn't declare, we sit and wait for a year so our war exhaustion can come down. In the meantime... We want to check our alliances again. Austria is the lowest. Let's bump them up. We're not yet in a position that we can actually make that happen. Okay, cool. Well, um, I'm going to attack for that next. And as soon as the truce is up for Riga, we definitely need that. So it might be a little while till we actually start plunking away at uh, humanist ideas, but 
We'll see. Austria just had to, uh... He took a lot of land unlawfully. Ever, he's never going to become emperor again. Never. It's okay, though. I mean, we don't mind having him as an ally. He's, he's right next to, uh... These three are all next to each other, so they'll all have access if there's a war with Poland. Making them quite good. I hope. Three in a row that he's been refused. So the Pomeranians rebel. That's going to be bad. At least in Strassland. I actually would prefer if the Livonians would just fire. Crying out loud. Alright, I'm going to take a break here though. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you soon.